Hi, I'm Valerie with the Pioneer Library System, and today we're going to be doing a at-home STEM experiment for kids called Lemon Volcanoes. It's a chemistry experiment that discusses the relationship between acids and bases and the pH scale. So to get going here, I'm going to move my camera so you can see my workspace. Just bear with me a second here. That, that'll work. Okay, so obviously we're going to use a lemon, and we're going to need a cutting board and a knife. And so I'm going to roll, first you might want to, you're going to want to roll this lemon just to get the juices flowing inside. And I've already done that. You're going to cut off the bottom and you're going to cut off the top. I'm going to cut off a little bit more just to get more of a, okay, to get more of a working space. Now I'm going to bring a plate in here with a lid and the, or a lip rather. And the point of that is to collect all the runoff because it's going to be messy. Take a craft stick. I'm going to start poking in that lemon. And again, this is the, to get the juices flowing. So you'll see the reaction better. Now the lemon is citric acid. That's the acid in this experiment. Next, I'm going to take some food coloring. Put some dots in there of the food coloring. You can use more than one color, but just know if you use more than one color, sometimes it ends up turning brown and you lose the effect. Next, I'm going to take some Dawn dish soap. I'm going to liberally pour it on top. The purpose of the food coloring and the soap is to show the reaction. You don't necessarily need these two, but it helps the reaction and, it, and the kids think it, thinks it look, looks pretty. So there's that. All right, so this is my base. This is baking soda. I'm going to just liberally put it on top. I'm going to grab my craft stick one more time and I'm going to poke again just to get that uh, explosion to start happening, the reaction. And there you go. That's kind of what happens. When you get a bigger lemon and you have more space, it's going to see the reaction better. And I'll turn that around so you can see it. And again, put some more lemon juice to get help it along and you might want to do that too just juice another lemon to have that on hand and then just keep poking and it just keeps making that reaction and so what's happening here is the lemon the citric acid is reacting with the baking soda the base and the acid atom is, or molecule rather is handing off a hydrogen atom to the base molecule. They're grabbing that extra uh, hydrogen atom that the acid is giving up. And that produces the CO2 that you see coming up, the bubbles, that's the CO2, the air um, coming up, just like when you breathe, um, coming up and making that reaction. Your kids are gonna wanna play with this a lot. They're gonna be poking it and they're gonna be digging into it. And so just be aware, um, they're going to have colorful hands, they're going to have dye on their hands. So also, this is an opportunity to talk about the pH scale with your kids. Just move this over. And I drew this out, and you can either have them draw this out or do this yourself and let them fill in some stuff here and I'll kind of explain to you. Uh, as you may know, the pH scale goes from 1 to 14. From one to six are, base, are acids. Seven is a neutral, and it's always pure water. Pure water is gonna be your neutral. And then eight to 14 signifies the bases on the scale. Uh, I put some examples in here, and this would be a good exercise for your kids to do, uh, to look up some different things that would fit um, on the number items on the scale. For example, here, number one is stomach acid. Um, number two would be citric acid, what we just used. Another example, I think a, I think a three or a four would be tomato sauce. Um, eggs are like an eight or a nine. I've put bleach here on number 12. But you could have them go online or um, get some books from the library and 
give examples of where certain items would fall on this, the pH scale. And that's a great exercise to drive home what we just did on this fun experiment. And now it may not stick, but you know, it's kind of, you, you put that in their brain and the more they, they hear about it, whether you keep talking about it or whether they learn it in school, they're gonna be, you know, one step ahead of the other kids knowing, um, kind of having an understanding of how this works, the pH scale and how the reactions between the acids and bases um, happen. So I hope that helps and I hope you guys uh, have fun with this experiment. I know my kids have done it in the past and they had a lot of fun and created a lot of mess. But again, thank you so much for tuning in and um, we'll see you again. Bye.